If you grab too firmly, you might crush the box. The risk of grabbing it too lightly is that if the weight isn't where you expect it to be, the box might rotate and you might drop the box. The problem is that most egg boxes are opaque, making it difficult to know where the eggs are and to estimate the center of mass. This is a problem we can solve with mathematics. As you remove eggs from the box, the center of mass changes and the center of geometry stays the same. If you don't know where the center of mass is, like the next day, for example, you risk dropping the eggs from an insufficient grip. This risk can be mitigated by reducing the average imbalance of eggs from every configuration of the box from full to empty. The challenge then is to find the optimized sequence for removing eggs from the box that minimizes the imbalance, where the imbalance is the difference between the center of mass and the center of geometry of the system. Before starting, a few assumptions. First, all the eggs have the same mass. The box also has a mass. We also assume that it's a 2D problem, or more precisely, that the solution to the 2D problem will be useful in a 3D world. And before starting to solve the problem, we also have to assume that solving the problem is a useful thing to do. Most tenuous uh, assumption. The basic calculation is a nice little balance problem. Find the center of mass of all of the eggs and the center of mass of the box, and then find the balance point between them. You can find the center of mass for the eggs by averaging all the x and y coordinates independently and then Pythagorean theorizing the uh, hypotenuse to get the distance between the center of mass and the eggs and the center of mass of the box, which is also the center of geometry. In the end equation, it's important to note that the egg box mass is in the denominator, so a larger value here will make the overall imbalance smaller. The calculation must be done for each configuration for each sequence in the box of eggs. So for six, there are 720 unique sequences. With two planes of symmetry, only half of half of those are truly unique and the rest are mirror images. But that's still way more than I wanted to calculate, so I wrote a little Python script that solves the problem for a box of eggs with six, uh, eight, nine, and 10. 12 eggs already has 470 something million different sequences. So I uh, wasn't confident my laptop could handle that, but the trend from six through 10 probably carries through to 12. The output is lists of averages and standard deviations for each sequence, and the data can also be reviewed in charts like this. Each, each step in the x-axis removes an egg, and the imbalance is on the y. The goal is to avoid these high imbalance paths and to use the lowest path possible. Looking at the data for the 6, 8, 9, and 10 egg boxes, one heuristic can summarize it all. Take the take an egg from a corner, then take the diagonal opposite, then take a corner egg furthest from the center of geometry, then take the diagonal opposite from that one and kind of continue on. Thinking about the solution that comes from the calculation, it's kind of intuitive. The outer eggs have the biggest influence on the imbalance because they have the greatest moment arm and it makes sense to remove those first while there's still a large cluster of eggs around the center of geometry. The nice thing about doing the calculation is now we can quantify the difference between the best and worst case scenarios. For example, with the eight egg box, if you choose the worst path, you could be as many as 60 millimeters out of balance at some point. The other nice thing about doing the calculation is that now there's a, a fun and compelling anecdote to relay to anyone watching you do something with eggs. Finally, since the egg box mass was in the denominator of that first equation, there's another way to get around the imbalance topic entirely. If you have an egg carton with infinite mass, the value of the imbalance becomes negligible because the egg carton will create a supermassive black hole and neither cake nor omelets will be a primary concern.